the classic tri-corner colonial hat. This hat was actually worn by the famous philosopher uh, Nostradamus. And what Nostradamus did is he was a, a man from the colonial times, the times of muskets and black powder. And this Nostradamus, this uh, philosopher from colonial times, wrote uh, many books predicting the future. They were full of these very vague uh, short paragraphs. And they were, you know, they were full of things saying like, oh, in 20 years, they will be a great terror on the seas. Just really fucking vague shit. And wouldn't you know, a few of these uh, vague paragraph overlapped with uh, some events that happened in the future. So uh, here on the Mazzy Monk Show, we're going to do our own version of Nostradamus. But uh, instead of it being like really fucking vague shit, It'll be like actual fucking predictions of the future. Like you, if you're, if you center your chi as a monk and predict the future, you will be able to predict the future. And, uh, for the, for the near future, there are a few things that we can definitely count on that'll definitely happen. But, uh, for the, for the later years, you know, past, past the end of our lives, uh, it's, there could either be a, a good ending or a bad ending. And the good ending, is when Africa takes over the world, and the bad ending is when China takes over the world. Now, now, uh, but both these endings uh, have the same beginning. And for the next hundred years, there's some shit that we can definitely count on. That you know, if you're young, you can definitely see some of this shit in your life. And I mean, in the near future, we're definitely gonna lose the fucking middle class. The middle class will be fucking gone. I mean. The, the bourgeoisie have figured the game. They have won. And the world will globalize. And there will be a small, a small ruling elite. The bourgeoisie will take over. And the, the, the middle class, the middle class will go away. For this we can count on. This is in both the, the good ending and the bad ending. Um, all, all paper money too. All paper money will go away. All paper money will go away. And... Uh, let's go for the bad ending. So the bad ending uh, starts with this. Uh, China is a bit ahead of every other nation because, you know, uh, like in America and like in Europe, the corrupt corporations and the government are different entities. But in China, they're the same, right? So they're, they're, they're a little bit more nimble. They're, they're a little bit more, more uh, jukey. So they can, you know, work their way around and took over the world a little bit easier than everyone else. And, like, if you look, like, American corporations are already, like, sucking the wee-wee of China. Like, if, like you know, like, because they have all those fucking people in China. They have all those, uh, they have that demand. And, you know, the world will globalize, right? Because, you know, you can make more money if the world globalizes. The rich people can. So, um, I mean, since China has all these people... Uh, and the government's like hella corrupt. The they, they can you know f- work their way around. And the American, I mean, America is run by the the, the corporations. The bourgeoisie uh, in, in America run the corporations, and uh, they are already they want access to the Chinese market. So you know the Chinese government uh, can just say, hey, okay, I want you to do X, and then you can have access to our market. So, and that's already happening. Like, that's why so little American companies recognize Taiwan as a country. It's because China's like, yeah, don't recognize them. And same thing with the UN. The UN also is pretty much run by fucking China. So, uh, in the near future, for both the good ending and the bad ending, uh, the war will globalize, uh, and then China will begin to take over the world. All right? And then the bad ending starts here. Uh, all paper money will go away. And, you know, since all the banks are owned by, like, three different companies, what they can do is that they can just uh, type money. And mass surveillance will also go up, too. And so literally from a computer, so there'll be people who can literally just do plus $10,000 and they get $10,000. That fucking... Once all paper money goes away, you literally can just type in money. It'll be that easy to... The bourgeoisie will be able to do that. They'll have so much fucking power. So, um, uh, when the world globalizes, 
uh, all paper money will go away. Uh, the middle class will die. The middle class is fucking gone. Good ending or bad ending, the near future will lose the fucking middle class. The middle class is fucking done for. Man, the middle class, it will become the bourgeoisie and the proletariat. It will become the people who own the machines and the people who, who operate the machine machines. And we'll have some pretty fucking dope uh, innovations in technology. Good ending or bad, we're going to have some pretty fucking sweet technology coming up. And uh, it'll, become the, it'll become the people who own the machines and the people who operate the machines. There'll be no middle class. The middle class is fucking done for. Um, and uh, we're in mass surveillance too. And with, uh, you know, uh, mass surveillance is really, really fucking bad. The government's, I mean, the government's, our only goal is to continue the government. I mean, even if there's a shitty government, their only goal is to continue the government, right? So with, with mass surveillance, they can see when someone starts to get uppity and they can just hush them out. They can, they literally, they can watch, I mean, you, right in your pocket right now, you have a, you have a computer that tracks your every move. And they can sort of, they can see when people start to act up, you know, when there's some tension and they can just, you know, set your bank account to zero or just send a hit squad after you. So, you know, even if the nation's city, it won't, it won't fall. It'll, it'll just, it'll just, the status quo will be maintained. And like with Rome and Greece, you know, the game was beat and the, the bourgeoisie ran that and they got greedy and it fell to shit, right? It fell apart. But with mass surveillance, they'll be able to, to see when uh, people start to get uneasy and they can just snuff it out, you know? And just, you know, just hit them with some dopamine or something. So they just like blaze out and like, uh, like that. So uh, China will take over the world. Uh, in the bad ending, Africa... Uh, They'll, they'll, they'll like Africa is going to develop slightly later than everyone else and as Africa develops they'll uh, f- stick their fucking seeds into the foundation of Africa and then it'll just jump on the train going off the cliff so uh, you know, China will take over the world and the, the, the seats of power will not move and every, anytime their, their position is threatened they'll just you know they'll they'll be they'll be able to tell very quickly with this uh, mass surveillance system we have. So, um, and in this in this bad ending, uh, we'll either just run out of fossil fuels uh, and end up just killing each other. I I'm pretty sure I don't think we'll ever have uh, Mars terraformed. I don't think any human will be born on a planet that's not Earth in the bad ending. Uh, we'll, we'll probably get some people on like some planet in the asteroid belt or some planet far out. We might get some people just on it, but I don't think we'll ever colonize Mars at all in the bad ending. And at that point, I mean, either it might go for a long time, you know, maybe when we run out of uh, fossil fuels, we'll like get solar panels and then the sun will just eat the earth and then that's it for humanity. But, uh, I mean, it might just end when we run out of fossil fuels. But we'll see. That's a bad ending. It's just the status quo, right? They can't, with mass surveillance, they can tell, you know, anytime, anytime their position threatened, they can just, you know, since all money is electronic, just set their account to zero, you know, or whatever. And there'll be no middle class, just the people who own the machines and the people who operate the machines. I mean, even in the bad ending, we'll have some pretty fucking sweet technology, though. I think regardless of what happens, there's going to be some pretty fucking amazing innovations. But I mean, since our entire system is solely based off of profit, right? Even if they find a way to make farming really, really, really cheap, or to make transportation really, really, really cheap, or to make anything really, really cheap, they'll just keep it the same price and make more money. And then the the bourgeoisie will be able to just have even more power and they'll shorten the market even more and kill off the middle class even more so that, so that's a bad ending that's the bad ending is when there's just the bourgeoisie and there's just the proletariat and uh, they just 
mean the status quo is maintained until everyone fucking dies. But in the good ending, Africa takes over the world. And in this ending, it has the same exact start. You know, China, all money goes electronic. The middle class almost dies, right? Uh, mass surveillance is almost becomes like immensely ingrained into technology. But uh, they're going to ignore the the bourgeoisie will ignore Africa. They they'll ignore Africa, and it'll grow. And I think I think a really good society can be either left or right. I think a better society would be, you know, more socialist in that respect because, you know, money is a very it's a very poor definer of, you know, what is sustainable. But uh, a really good, you know, capitalist nation could come out of Africa. I don't think that political chart. Everyone fucking argues about it, but it is so fucking arbitrary. Uh, for the most part, it's it's not it's not a perfect definer of political beliefs, but. The main, uh, main tell of whether, you know, a society is good or bad is how corrupt the people in power are, how greedy they are. And, you know, with America, it's, it's pretty fucking bad. I mean, the sewage system still works, but I mean, we're, we're going downhill. The middle class is fucking dying. So, uh, so the China, I mean, America, the American corporations will uh, bend, bend over to China and China will take over the world, almost. But then, since they ignore Africa, a really fucking sweet, non-corrupt run by solar panels, no fossil fuels. The country, the the country that comes out of Africa, Af- all of Africa will unite. You know how there's the EU, there'll be the AU, the African Union. All of Africa will become like one entity. It may not be a country, but it'll be an allegiance. And since you know, there's, there's enough people in Africa that they can have that whole, uh, you know, uh, positive sum thing work out where, you know, everyone in Africa is really well off. And with that, they'll be able to take over the rest of the world because the rest of the world will, ca- will be starting to go to shit. Like, if you notice, we're on decline right now, as of recent. That decline will either continue to go down to the, the fucking end of humanity or Africa will have that decline go down deep enough that it can, can just sweep in and take over that that's that's some wishful fucking thinking so uh, yeah Africa goes into a non-corrupt nation and is able to fix the world that's the good ending and in the good ending I, I te- technology will go fucking far again the good ending we will be able to uh, terraform Mars and we'll make that thing that like spins. It's like a giant rope and you just climb to the top of it and it just shoots you out and we'll inhabit the entire solar system and we'll send these like giant uh, huge uh, ships that have like human seeds inside of them. I don't think uh, a a human will ever leave the solar system but uh, a bioengineered human mixed with a plant that can remain dormant for like 20,000 years will be sent on like a seed ship and they could just coast for like tens of thousands of years till it reaches like prominent centoria whatever fucking planets nearby but it won't be humans it'll be like a, a, a bioengineered human and plant that's a seed that like grows from dirt but a person comes out of it. And what's cool about that is the seed itself can like sit dormant for tens of thousands of years. That's that that's a that's the good ending. That's the wishful thinking ending. And I and it could be good or bad. I don't think the the near future does not look good. I think like you know how the, the Roman Empire in Greece fell? I don't I think our current system will be unable to fall because of mass surveillance. And we'll just be stuck in this fucking status quo by the bourgeoisie. So yes. I mean, the shit like uh, all money going electronic, the death of the middle class, and China taking over, we'll probably see in the next, like, 50 years. So yes. 
thank you for watching. I there hasn't been a whole lot of new videos on this channel as of late, but I haven't figured about it. I'll, I'll continue to upload again. It's just man, I just like it's been some fucking it's been kind of crazy lately. As in, I've been left in my room in like three fucking weeks. <laughs> it's kind of been like that lately, but the I'll I'll start uploading again. Don't this channel is not dead. It's been a while since the last upload, but uh, the best is yet to come.